<laughs> Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and Sergey. Hi, Marcus. Hey, you know, I, I did. I'm I'm doing well. I did a whole welcome, and uh, I was good morning. Hello, this is what our class is about, and everything. And and nobody was coming. And then I looked at Verbling, and I realized that I had the wrong Hangout link. So there's a video in. Pardon? Everything can happen. Everything happen. I didn't hear that again. Everything uh, can happen. <laughs> yes, yes. Anything can happen. But, uh, well, now I'm here, and that's the good thing. So I want to say welcome to you guys again for the first time. <laughs> uh, today on Verbling, we are going to talk about some jobs, some extraordinary jobs. Some of them are funny, some of them are amazing, crazy, but all of them I think you will be surprised by. All right? So um, let, us, let us begin. Always the first two things we say. Sergey, what's the first thing we say? Uh, our name. Good. All right, our name. Uh, Miguel, do you know what the second thing is that we say? Hello, Miguel. Miguel? OK. Maybe he will just listen. Uh, and the second thing we say, Sergey, what's the second thing we say? Where we live. Where we live, our city. Our city That's or country. Yeah. Mm. All right, I'll begin. My name is Marcus Higgs. And today I'm in Jeddah, Saudi Arabia. Oh, oh, and our third question, sorry. Third question is basically, how are you? Very simple, how are you? Right now, <laughs> sorry, I, I really did think about it, and I was like, well, why don't, why don't you just ask, how are they? And today, I'm, I'm excited. I'm happy. Um, like that for real song, because I'm happy. Clap along if you feel. Yeah, I'm happy like that. Why? I think because I got enough rest, and I'm working on a project that I'm very excited about. And that, that's it. So hello, everyone. My name is Marcus from Saudi Arabia, and I'm super today. Right. Sergey, can you go next, please? OK. My name is Sergey. I'm from Russia, and uh, I'm feeling good. <laughs> You're feeling good, too? Yeah. Yeah. Because I'm at home. Because of what? I am at home. Ah, home, ah yes. Home. Yes, yes, yes. You're at your parents' house now, no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Ah, that is good. That is good. I'm, I'm, I'm glad for you. I'm happy for you. All right, Miguel. I heard your microphone come on. Are you there now? Hi. Hey. How are you? Can or please you introduce me? yourself. Yes. Yes, we can. Yeah, okay. Sorry. That's okay. Um, my name is Miguel. I am I'm from Portugal. And um, well, I'm this is my fourth class here, maybe. Okay. And and how do you feel today? I feel good. It's Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> I feel good. All right, it's Sunday. You're right. <laughs> For me, where I live, I, I, I go to work on Sunday. Yeah, uh, but I'm not to work. <laughs> well, I feel good that you feel good, Miguel. <laughs> and actually, we're, we're talking about work. We're talking about work, all right? Uh, let's jump right in to the conversation. I wonder, it's, it's odd that nobody else has joined. Yeah, it's strange. Well, that just means more talk time for Miguel and Sergey. <laughs> All right. I'm not going to share the document with you yet. Okay. Okay. 
I'm going to show you this. Okay. Um, I, ooh, excuse me. I'm going to show you some pictures. I want you to look at the pictures and tell me what you think the job is. Okay? Yeah. Uh, let's get our minds working. Let me okay. see now. Need to share my screen properly. The first picture is this. A dish. Okay, it's you're right. It's a dish. What's next to the dish? I don't know. It's strange. <clears throat> Maybe cereals. Okay, yeah, it looks like cereal. There, there's a knife and fork. Yeah. So that means somebody's going to eat it. It's strange. <laughs> oh, what's strange about it? Um, it is, 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 um, it is uh, cereals? Is it cereal? Yes. Cereal, yeah. Uh, did you say serious well, or cereal? Cereal. It doesn't look like cereal. No. Uh, uh, Sergey, what, what did you say? Sorry. Uh, I guess it's uh, food for uh, for I don't know for fish. I give it to my crop. <laughs> <laughs> it's food for what? For uh, for fish. For fish, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> promise you, my crop eat eat similar things. <laughs> okay, all right, all right. Hello, Laura. Hello, Laura. Hi there. Maybe. Okay, so guys, what do you think the job is? You should cook. taste the food. <laughs> okay, we said a chef or somebody who tastes food. All right, okay. All right, let's go to the second one. Sorry, who was the next person who entered? It was Dina. Dina and Laura. How are you guys doing? Doing well. Fine, thank you. We're well. doing well. Good, good. All right, guys, we're just looking at pictures now, um, trying to think of what the job will entail. Okay. Um, Manu, uh, Miguel, if, if you have headphones, do you have headphones? Yes. Are you wearing them? Yeah, very well. Uh, <laughs> okay, I hear an echo. But not sure. it's not uh, here, maybe. It's not you? Okay, okay, I'll, we'll figure it out. All right, guys, let's look at this next picture. Uh, Laura, what do you see? Um, it's a man uh, chewing gum and uh, making a, a, I don't know the name, could be a, would... a bubble? Mm -hmm. Yes, he's okay. blowing a bubble, blowing, blowing a bubble. A bubble. Blowing mm -hmm. a bubble. <laughs> okay. He has big eyes. Like the uh, bubble. Like like the bubble. <laughs> yeah. Dina, what 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 job do you think this is? Oh, this is someone's job. <laughs> I I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so difficult. This is a job. No, it's not difficult. I mean, what, what do you think the job is? What do you... um, if maybe... this picture was about somebody's job, what would it be? Um. He's a verbling teacher. He's a what? <laughs> a verbling teacher. <laughs> Oh, oh, all right, Dina. Can uh, guys, what do you think his job is? Open to anyone. He he uh, could be a uh, a chewing gum tester. 
Okay, all right. Hmm. A chewing gum tester. And uh, it's, chewing, it's chewing gum for, for kids, not for, for adults. Bubble gum, chewing. Maybe he's okay. an actor? Maybe he's a, hey, he's a model working uh, at the, the advertising. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. <laughs> Let's go on. Who, who else entered the room? I can't see right now. Somebody new came in. Uh, class, can somebody Kako. tell me who? Kako. Kako? Kako? Okay. Kako. All right, guys. Uh, Kako, is your mic working? Hi, teacher. Hello. Hello. Hi, everyone. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Nobody answered. He said hello, everyone. Guys. Hello, Kako. <laughs> hello. <laughs> Come on, guys, be nice. All right, Kako. Kaka, how do you say your name? Kako. Kako, okay, good. Kako. Uh, Kako, what do you see in the picture? I see... I see... a couple of... youngs, of young. Uh, youth, a couple of youth. youth. Youth mm -hmm. or young people? Uh, young people. They are um, in the water. They are mm -hmm. uh, playing in the water. Mm -hmm. I don't know if, if there is a, a wave. Maybe. Maybe they, they are. They are um, in a, um, I don't I don't know uh, uh, an equipment of of um, um, an amusement park. Okay. All right. Yes. Yeah. Uh, what, what is in an, maybe they're in an amusement park? What is that equipment called, or what is that? Uh, that device. What are they doing, class? Sledge. Sliding. Sliding. Okay. Yeah. The the verb is to slide. The action is sliding. Sorry. The action is sliding, and they are sliding, and the the equipment is called a slide. It's called a slide. Uh, can you can write? I can I call can this a tube? Uh, I, I can write it, but my screen is going to... Um, okay, here we go. A slide to slide. Um, a tube? Yeah. Mm, they are... I wouldn't call it a tube. Maybe in England they would. I'm not sure. Okay. Half a tube. <laughs> a half tube. Uh, they, they call it a half pipe when you're pike when you're going. T well, no, not a, a half pike. Going down the tube. Some people may call it a tube. If somebody said that in in if a native speaker said that, I'd be like, okay, yeah, but it's it's called a slide. Okay. Okay. Uh, guys, what job do you think... His, his hands are kind of high, actually, where he's holding her. Just <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm noticing that. It's a <laughs> what job do you think this is? Maybe, I don't know, this man or woman help each other to slide. What, what is, is that, Sergei? Maybe uh, this boy or woman can help um, to slide for this cow of tube. <laughs> <laughs> a slide assistant? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> if th that would be the perfect job. If I was him, it's, it's, a, it's a guy behind a girl. <laughs> he has the perfect job. Yeah. Any other guesses? 
she, she is a sliding trainer that is giving <laughs> training for him. <laughs> okay. Yes. All right. So take funny. classes. All right. Uh, w w look at this picture. Uh, I want to hear from one of the ladies, Dina or Laura. Yes. Are we there? Uh, what do we see in this picture? Um, two two bears. Mm -hmm. And um, it says before and after, but I I can barely see the difference. There's something <laughs> written inside, but I I don't know. Oh, what is what is the difference, class? Before mm, no, there, there's something different. Yes, before it was a bad beer or an, an ugly beer, and after uh, it become it becomes a, a, good, a nice beer. Okay, it became a nice beer before it, it was an ugly beer. Yes. Uh, how how was it ugly? How sorry? How was it ugly? <laughs> oh, I hear a baby. How? Yeah. In the before picture, she said it was ugly. How how is it ugly? Without nose and eyes. The, the mouth is. Without um... face. Good. It doesn't have a mouth now. Yeah. And look look at the fur. Look at the fur. Maybe. What about the what about the fur? Maybe it's someone who fixed uh, toys or something like that. Good. Maybe maybe the job is someone who fixes toys. I wanted to say um, the fur the fur is dirty. Do you see the fur? Yeah. Yes. It's yeah. brown. Yeah. Yes, the fur is dirty. Good. All right, let's go to our next picture. Sergey, what is this? It's a man who tries to get poison from. State. I heard about it. Okay. What what job do you think that is? It's uh, oh, how can I say? Uh, boy, no, man who takes poison, who gets poisoned. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. We're gonna learn the word for that, and actually, we can we can see it here a little bit. He's a snake milker. Like how you milk a cow, he milks the snake. Yeah. Milk means to take liquid away from something, okay. or an animal, rather. All right, look at this picture. Cacao, what do you see? <laughs> you have about two more. Cacao, what do you see? I see... Um... Taco, sorry, Taco. I see two children and one adult. Adult. Mm -hmm. The adult, uh, it's a man. Um, uh -huh. All all they are using red balls on their nose, on their noses. They all, mm, they all have red balls on their noses. Yeah. Um, the children seems to be um, blonde, and the okay. and the man seems to be bald, 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 bald. Yeah. Ah, um, uh, maybe. Okay. Um, she uses she uses um. It's a stethoscope that is an instru a, a medical device. Um, <laughs> I I think he is a doctor, and mm -hmm. he is examining examining the child. But but no, it, it's a it's it's funny. It's a trick because um, he is putting the instrument. Uh, in the head of a child, if, if on he, her head, if he was if he was a, a medical. Oh, maybe he is he is um, 
he's kidding with with the child. It's yeah. possible. It's possible he is a doctor um, in this moment, uh, kidding um, to to uh, to relax the the the, the child for for a previous examination or post examination. Okay. All right. <laughs> good, good, good. Maybe that is his job. He's relaxing the children with humor. Yeah, with humor. With humor. Yeah. All yeah. right. And this this will be our last one. Uh, Elena, what do you see? Maybe she left. Oh, okay. Uh, Miguel, what do you see? <coughs> I see uh, a man mm -hmm. looking for a wall or something <laughs> like. Looking for uh, or looking, looking at. Uh, maybe at. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Looking at a wall. Uh, at the wall. Yeah. Mm. Um, but I don't know what exactly he. Is doing or was doing. What job do you think that is? Yeah. Nah, <laughs> okay. Nah. It's strange. <laughs> All right. Let, let, let's stop there. Let's 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 get on because we're gonna have to read. Um, I'm going to give this to you. Boom. Remzi, hello Remzi. Uh, okay, I put the link inside the Google chat and the Verbling chat. This is the document. Extraordinary jobs. <laughs> Slide tester. <laughs> nice. Can everybody see the document? Yes. Yes. Yep. Yeah. All right. Good. Uh, Sergey, let's let's read through. There are seven, six, six jobs, I believe. Six jobs. Sergey, can you read number one? Okay. Bad first one. Bad food tester. Yes, it's thin, and yes, it's totally gross. One moment. Ah, but as the owner of pet food company, Hots and Toad, my Google says, if you wouldn't put it in your mouth, don't you dare expect your dog to eat it. Mr. Gully eats dog food for a living. He eats everything from doggy treats and cherry bones to liver mixture. <laughs> he's, a, he's a crazy man. He's crazy? Yeah. <laughs> No, that's his job. He All right. He says, if you wouldn't put it in your mouth, why do you want your dog to put it in their mouth? It's true. But he's crazy. <laughs> well, he, he gets paid. He makes a living. Uh, yeah, yeah, he says he puts it in his mouth for a living. Means it's his job. His job. Chewy bones, you know what those are? Um, those are the rubber toys. They're made of plastic. And dogs usually eat them. All right. All right. Sorry. Uh, let's go on to the... Um, just going to show you a picture real quick. These are chewy bones. And his job is to eat these. Or chew on them. All right. Uh, to the next one, please. Can you read it, Rem uh, Remzi? Are you with us? Um, yes. Gomologist. Uh, a lot of hard work goes to, into creating the perfect piece of cherry. Just ask uh, Jesse Kiefer, who works as a gomologist for Cadbury Schwabs. 
kefir has to get flour just right, which isn't easy with some combos like strawberry and lime, which he says don't complement each other that well. All right, very good. Uh, chewy is the British word for gum, a gumologist. What does it mean to complement? Um, complement means two things uh, mixed each other, or um, two things mixed together, but. Uh, that's not what complement means. It, it, it's almost there. Two things are mixed together, and and what about them? Does anybody know? And make another uh, another substance, maybe. Okay. It means two things coming together, and it makes something better, or they go, they come together very well, and they improve. Okay. So when strawberry and lime come together, they don't complement, meaning they don't improve. They don't uh, become better. All right, class. Yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Okay. I need that feedback. All right. Let's go on to the next one. Water slide tester, Miguel. <coughs> A water slide tester Monday morning definitely seems a lot more. E what is this? If enticing, enticing, enticing. If you get us to spend your working weeks sleeping down water slides, especially come summer. And water slides are usually placed in massive theme parks. Imagine getting to spend your lunch break on the roller coaster coaster mm -hmm. and eating a lot dog for lunch working holidays I'm right am what I is, right am I right mm -hmm. what is in, in enticing okay Monday mornings definitely seem a lot more enticing if you spend your working week slipping down water slides. Um, usually, do people like Monday mornings? No. No, people don't like Monday mornings, okay? But it says it's more enticing if you spend it on a water slide. If you spent it on a water slide, do you want to do it or do you not want to do it? If, if your job was going to a water slide every Monday, do you think you want to do it or you don't want to do it? I want. <laughs> you want to do it, okay? Yeah. Another word for enticing would be attractive. Ah, okay. So Monday mornings are a lot more attractive if you spend it slipping, slipping down a water slide. Enticing. Okay. okay. And uh, it was the word... Mm -hmm. A word that uh, ta taco use in theme parks or amusement parks. They have water slides and roller coasters. Roller coasters. Roller coasters. Mm -hmm. and, and eating a hot dog. Not a lot of dogs, but a hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, let's go on to the next one, number four. Laura? Yes. Um, teddy bear, repair technician. Kids get really emotional about, about their toys. Remember when your favorite toy lost an arm or suffered a similar life-threatening injury? It was devastating. But now this special technician who can come to, res to the rescue, the build a bear workshops have a teddy bear repair technician who is hired to repair those much loved teddy bears and get them back to their cuddly, cuddle intact lovely lo lovable selves. Lovable. Mm -hmm. Lovable selves. 
All right, good. It's cuddly, cuddly. intact, intact, and lovable. And lovable. Yeah. All right, very good. So it's a teddy bear repairman. Okay. Um, let's let's go through the vocabulary. Suffered a sim a similar life threatening industry injury injury. In the picture, in the before picture, what injury did the bear, does the bear have? Um, it has a part of his a mouth uh, gun. Okay, he's missing his mouth. Very good. Yeah. All right, so that's an injury, and life-threatening means it can kill him. The teddy bear is going to die. Oh, no. <laughs> it's suffering. It is suffering. Devastating. Does anybody want to try? What does that mean? Devastating is something um, like fatal. Okay, fatal. Okay, it means it's something that's going to destroy or cause yeah. damage. Okay. Um, teddy bear man comes to the rescue. Superman comes to the rescue. <laughs> to save. All right. Batman comes to the rescue. Yes, comes to save. The teddy bear technician who is hired. What does to be hired mean? To hire to get a job. Yeah, to very simply. To make the the job. Yep. To to get a job. To get a job. He is hired to bring them back to their cuddly, intact, lovable selves. All right. Things that are cuddly. A dog is cuddly. Babies are cuddly. Your wife or your husband are cuddly. <laughs> All right. To cuddle. Oh, my goodness. Oh, that's <laughs> such a good feeling. To cuddle mm. means to hug something and put your face in it and just rub it and just, oh, cuddly. <laughs> if the camera was on, you would see me cuddling my hands right now. <laughs> right. Intact? Intact? Does anybody know what that means? Nobody touched before. No, no, no. No, no. Intact means together. <clears throat> together? Uh, yes, okay, okay, in good condition, but in intact means spe specifically together, together. Uh -huh. Okay. So right now his mouth and nose are separated. The repairman puts it intact. Okay, okay. I thought it's and uh, like a new car. When you buy a new car, it's intact. Nobody used this uh, after, uh, before. Mm -hmm. Not necessarily. No, 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 no. No, you wouldn't say it's the, intact. The context. I, no, no, I, I, I wouldn't use intact there. Not even in any ah, context. Okay. okay. In, intact just means there's no damage and it's complete. Okay. So if the car was in a crash and then um, it wasn't complete and then you say, oh, no, yeah, this car is intact. Uh, okay, there was there were, there was an accident, and two cars hit. One car is totaled; the other car is intact. It means the other car is complete. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. All right. Good. Thank you, Laura. Thank you, Laura. You, you're welcome, Miguel. Dina, are you there? I I I think I heard a cuddly baby with you. Yes. <laughs> okay. He's my son. Ah, hello, Dina's son. <laughs> okay, <laughs> shall I read this uh, snake milker? Snake milker, yes, that is the one you read, snake milker. <laughs> snake milker, okay. Snake venom is powerful stuff. It can be turned in, it can be turned into drugs to treat all kinds of conditions, including a poisonous, a poisonous snake bites. Snake bite, but some, but some brave soul needs to collect them 
sorry, needs to collect uh, that venom by hand. They gently expose the snake's fang and squeeze out the deadly juices. <laughs> the only difference between me and any other company in the world that pro that produces something is that the means of production here can kill you and wants to Alabama snake milker Ken Darnell says Ken Darnell says Ken Darnell, right? That's his name. Alright. Alright, so Venom is the, the liquid that comes out of a snake. Yes. And it's poisonous. What does poisonous mean? Uh, Dina, do you know? It kills. It can kill you. Okay. Yes. It is fatal. It is fatal. <laughs> uh, where, does, where does the venom come from? From the snake's teeth. From the snake's teeth. What are the names of those teeth? Mm. I don't know. No, I don't All know. All right, there. They're called fangs. 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 Snakes have fangs. Dracula has fangs. Mm. Yes. Fangs are anything to bite and to hold on to. Something that bites and it holds on to you. Fangs. All right. Let's continue because I want to get to conversation. All right. Thank you for reading, Dina. Thank you. Uh, are, are there any questions from anyone? No. Hmm. Okay, so the, the antidote for a snake bite is more snake poison. Yes. Uh, more snake poison. Yeah. All right, let's go, Kako. Okay, teacher. <laughs> okay. I, uh, I will read the eight. Uh, number six. Six, okay. Sorry. That's okay. Laughter therapist. They say it takes more muscles to frown, to frown than it does to smile. If that's true, then a career as a laughter therapist should be an easy ride. In this job, a, la a laughter therapist must do their best to make people laugh their way to a better life. Perfect for any budding clones out there. The profession is laughter therapist. All right, very good, very good. It takes more muscles. To laugh, to, then to frown. Frowning is the opposite of smiling. Um, it's an easy ride. To be an easy ride. Well, what does that mean? Easy way. Yes, yeah, something something is easy. <laughs> the word is there. It's simple. Yeah. Okay. And then it says perfect for any budding clown. Um, who is this job ideal for? Sergey, what, what do you think? Maybe for people who like children and, um, and love. And... Okay, you, you're right. Maybe for someone who likes children. But it says budding clowns. Budding is describing the clown. What do you think budding means? Does anybody have a guess? Hello, Nora. Okay, budding means to begin. When you have a flower, hi, teacher. Before the <laughs> hi, Nora. Before the flower opens, it's in a bud. Okay, and if it's budding, that means that the flower is opening. Okay. So a budding clown is a person who is not profession a professional clown yet. 
but they are just beginning beginning to open. Oh, okay. Okay. Loading I've I've been teaching English for seven years, seven or eight years. I'm a professional English teacher, but seven years ago I was a budding teacher. It means okay. I just started. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, let's let's go on to number seven. <laughs> Norel, can you read that for us? Sure. Okay. Um, Thanks, Watcher. You may have heard some people say that they would rather watch things dry than do something they don't want to do. Well, if they really mean if they really mean it, the opportunity is there. Studying the drying time and effects of paint as a full-time job for a paint manufacturer. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Good Here's a saying in, in English. If somebody says, oh, I'd rather watch paint dry. <laughs> Okay, so let's say um, let's let's go visit my aunt, my aunt Chris. My dad says to me, "Let's go visit my aunt Chris," and I say, "Oh my goodness, I'd rather watch paint dry." Do I want to go visit my aunt, or do I not want to go visit her? No, you don't. Yeah, you don't want to do something. It means ugh, I don't want to do something. But here, these people, their job is to watch paint dry. <laughs> okay. Are there any questions of any words in there? No. Um, I think most realistic uh, job is paint watcher <laughs> among them. The, the uh, most realistic job? Yeah. It's, you know... Uh, companies need this kind of experience uh, for production process and uh, according to result uh, they can change to process uh, production process process and they, they are real they are all real jobs <laughs> okay right, but but you maybe this one yeah it's it's a job in that it'll cost the factory a lot of money or I'll yeah. save the factory a lot of money. Yes, yes. Not not emotional. It's like a physical physical job, <laughs> like a tester of uh, dog food, pet food. <laughs> it's it's an actual real job. Yeah. Oh. All right. Let's go with the last one. The last one, and then we'll start our conversation. Ugh, oh, only three minutes. Thirteen. Uh, who wants to read it? Anybody? Nobody wants to read it. Okay, yeah, no, okay, I want okay. to read it. <laughs> <laughs> and then every, everybody says it at the same time. <laughs> go, go for it, Laura. Sorry, Sergey. It's okay. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry. Was that Dina or Laura? Oh. I, I think it was Dina. I yeah. think it was Dina. <laughs> go, Dina. That's okay. Inspector. In the gambling world, millions can be lost at the roll of a, a faulty dice. With that in mind, the job of a dice inspector is an important one, making sure each die is an is in, is in proportion mm -hmm. with all right angles and angles. blemish free. Angles, sorry, angles, angles. Mm -hmm. And blemish free. All right, very good, very good. Uh, millions can be lost with the roll of a faulty dice. Faulty dice. What does faulty mean? Anybody? Any Wrong. ideas? Okay. It means the dice have an error. Okay. Uh, the opposite of faulty is perfect. Yes. Okay. Right angles and blemish free. A blemish again means a problem. On women's faces, they wear makeup 
to hide their blemishes. And and some men. Mm. All right. Blemish. You have a question? Uh, no. Miguel? Sorry. No, th thanks. All right, let's uh, let's get to our questions. What job do you find most extraordinary? Paint uh, watch. Watcher. <laughs> <laughs> really? No. <laughs> Maybe the water slide tester. <laughs> Okay, okay. Uh, we had the... I, I think, yeah, the water slide tester. That's the most exciting for me. Yeah. <laughs> but every day is... Maybe... Maybe be uh, sad. I don't know. If, if you do it every day... Yeah. You would be bored. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> uh, Norel, what mm -hmm. about the what about the gemologist? Well, I uh, find that very exciting the job. Um, yeah, because you you have just to taste something every day. Mm -hmm. Well, it's 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 going to help your jaw to stay uh, healthy. Because it's an exercise for your face. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good exercise. You you maintain your uh, muscles in your face very strong. <laughs> so you may not be older soon. You or your your face will not be older. Yeah, you may stay young for a very long time. <laughs> Uh, here, here goes a good question. I like this one. Uh, Sergey, can you read it? Yeah, I put it inside the... Uh, yeah, I see. Which of them you would never agree to even if offered lots of money? And why? Should I answer? Uh, yeah, go for it. Which one would you not do? I'd you never be a snake milker. <laughs> because it's very dangerous. <laughs> I prefer more a pet food tester than a snake <laughs> milker. <laughs> Sergey, what if what if I was giving you how much? A hundred a hundred thousand dollars. For snake milker? Yeah, to to milk a snake. No, no, it's very dangerous. I can die. <laughs> You you can die. You can die. You know what? You're probably going to eat the dog food and you're going to choke and you're still going to die. <laughs> but mm -hmm. Mr. Goody, my Goody, uh, mm -hmm. it's alive. <laughs> he said he's right. I guess. Oh, he's alive. He's alive. <laughs> he's alive. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Narelle said she wouldn't do uh, pet food tasting. L Laura or Dina, what job would you not do? Pet food tester. The same for me. All yes. the women are like, I will not eat pet food. Yep. <laughs> you know what? You you probably eaten some bad things in your life already, <laughs> but you just didn't know. It's not animals food. <laughs> <laughs> Animal's food is our food. It's the same food. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but uh, it's especially for animals. No, no, I will never tell. I will never taste this food. And the presentation <laughs> is disgusting. <clears throat> yes. <laughs> I I prefer McDonald's. Uh, okay. That's probably worse for you. That's probably worse. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. I think if you know the ingredients of the pet food, mm -hmm. uh, you you don't want to be this job. Many uh, many ingredients 
you couldn't imagine. No, you, you know what? It, it, it's incorrect. It, it For example, uh, poultry, poultry bones, poultry tissues, poultry, um, everything. With you, poultry. you know, yes, those um, those same thing, those th same things are inside chicken McNuggets. Yes, they just grind it up smaller. Yes, yes. <laughs> that, that too, yeah. What what Ram Ram uh, Ramsey? What job would you not do? Um, sorry, can you can you what again? what job would you not do? I don't like to. I don't like to be a uh, snake milker. Yeah, it's snake milker. It's, it's so dangerous. It's not important. It's not related with the money. Uh, if I have, if if I know, I'll I I I would have been more money for, uh, due to. This job, uh, I didn't accept any offer about it. Well, okay, all right. Someone has to do it to save lives. Okay. Uh, Here is the last question, Kako. Can you, can you ask it? I wrote it inside the verbing chat. Okay, maybe Kakao's not with us. <laughs> All right, Miguel, go for it. Uh, which of them you would oh, never agree? Sorry, no, 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 no. I um inside the Google uh, inside the Verbling chat, I wrote a question. Uh, uh what other? Mm -hmm. What other extraordinary jobs have you heard of? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Thank you, Norel. <laughs> I don't know, maybe. What other. You, you know what's an extraordinary job that I would like? To be a scuba diver instructor. Because <laughs> scuba. Or, or if not scuba. A person who. Uh, Esker. Hello, class, can you hear me? Yes, so I want to again. Something's wrong? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> because I said that and then there was no response. Uh, I, I, would, I would like to be a skydive instructor. But like uh, Miguel said, after you do it so many times, maybe it will be boring. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Skydiver. Right. Every day you skydive, huh? Again. Yeah. <laughs> Just every day. Okay. <laughs> what 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 extraordinary jobs have you heard of? I only heard about uh, snake milk, but I found the. What a job very extraordinary. You found another extraordinary job? A, a lot of jobs. Healthful jobs for me is extraordinary. Healthful jobs? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. What, what, what job do you think like is amazing? Like, wow, people actually do that. Um, Something related could be with art. Like Something with the art. If you are doing well and you love to do it and uh, it's something that you have to create by yourself so um, it's very different than we are used to see in an office or this kind of jobs with like customer clients or something mm -hmm. um, so something where you're creating customer service, sorry. yeah yeah something very different than we uh, do Normally, as working from nine to five, going to the to the office, or 
or I don't know, these kind of uh, jobs that you have to be there each day at the same time. And uh, I think if you have enough skills to be an artist and you like to, to paint, to sing, to create music or something like that, should be a very good job. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's amazing, but you you know some singers, some actors, some painters. It always comes a point where, like Miguel said, if you do it too over and over and over, not you get bored, but you just need some balance. No, but if you are an actress, for instance, you you mm -hmm. have the opportunity to live uh, someone else's life, uh, and everything's different. I don't know. Yeah. Probably I'm I'm just dreaming. <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, you're right. Routine can kill you. Uh, but maybe what if you said you can live somebody else's life, but what if you want to just live a regular, normal life? Yeah, but everyone's everyone uh, likes to have the things that you don't have. I mean. I'm living a kind of regular life, so I would like mm -hmm. to live a very special one. And probably if I would be an actress or something famous, I would like to be very normal people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. The grass is always greener on the other side. Okay. Yes. Well, I, I guess uh, if, if I'm going to end the lesson, I would want to end with... Find ways to enjoy your job. There, there was something that um, I read earlier last week. It said, sometimes we sit down and we wait to be inspired. Or we wait for that moment of, ah, I'm, I'm passionate now and I have it. But we have to often, t but he said, rather, instead of being passive and waiting for it, we should be more active and looking to create passion, looking to create these moments and thoughts. And sometimes it's very hard. You have to sit down and think, I, I have to work towards this. So whatever your job is, if you don't have a job, you still have a job. You're, 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 you're living life, that's for sure. But um, whatever you do, I hope you enjoy it and, and find your passion in it and live for that. All right? Okay. <laughs> Sorry, this feels this feels like Thank a very wise too. moment. Thank you. <laughs> Guys, thank thank you for coming. Um I enjoy this. This is my job, no? But I enjoy I enjoy meeting people and thank you guys for all coming. Even those who came late. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, thank, thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.